What's up guys? Welcome to episode 2 of my Power Hypertrophy Workout Series. As previously discussed, this is a 4 day a week workout system where Monday and Tuesday are designated as power days, Wednesday off, Thursday and Friday are hypertrophy days, and the weekend is off. These are clips from my Tuesday, my upper body power day. I start off doing wide grip palms facing in chin-ups. I have my palms facing in because I've had aggravated injuries with my right elbow and if I did conventional white grip pull-ups it would cause pain in my right elbow. I'm attempting to do these with a two second hold at the top followed by a two second negative and then holding at the bottom for two seconds before finally exploding up to the top. This is the first series of exercises. I do not wish to hit failure on any of my exercises in my first three weeks of my power hypertrophy program. Exercise number two is banded incline barbell presses. As you can see, I've got the red sun pal loop looped over the top of my uh, power cage here, and I have to carefully thread the barbell through. What this ends up equaling at the very bottom of the movement when the barbell is on my chest is the band takes approximately 50 pounds or so weight off the weight of the barbell. So that I think in this example I'm probably doing 135, so at the very top of the movement I'm pushing 135 pounds, but the bottom of the movement it's closer to an estimated 85 pounds. This makes it easier when my shoulder is in a potentially injurious area at the very bottom, and due to the band I'm forced to drive the bar up as fast as I can the whole way as the weight is getting heavier, where in a conventional barbell press once you get past the sticking point, it's very easy to relax and just let momentum help you get to the top. But this method, I'm forced to drive it all the way through. Here I'm using a three second negative and a one second pause and exploding up to the top. Exercise number three is a bodyweight exercise. I'm doing bodyweight rows and I'm using some hook straps to help so I don't have to lose any strength in my forearm grip to do this. I believe I'm starting out with just reps of three, eventually go to reps of four, and then finally reps of five, and then I'm going to superset this by using dips. I'm not going to make you watch me take 30 seconds to move to the, doing the dips here, so I'll probably play it just a little bit fast until I get to the dips. Ah, there we go. With the dips, I'm doing a three second negative and a one second pause at the bottom and then exploding on the way up. I'm starting off just with sets of three, going to sets of four, eventually sets of five. With the idea being that not until week four comes around would I actually ever hit failure. So for the first three weeks to recap, I'm sticking one or two reps shy of failure on all my movements. And finally in week four, I will actually go all out and see how many reps I can actually do. Thank you.